here in the United States, we have about 50,000 gun stores, 50,000 more gun stores than McDonald's has franchises in this country. Mexico only has one gun store for the entire country. And that is based where? On a military base near Mexico City. They sell about 6,500 weapons, low caliber weapons used for hunting or target practicing. The figure that you guys gave of 200,000 weapons, mm -hmm. it, that is very minor. It's more like 300,000 to 500,000 weapons mm -hmm. that are flowing into Mexico every year. Now, those weapons, a lot of them go into the hands of these very ultra-violent cartels, such as the Sinaloa cartel, the Jalisco New Generation cartel, and they use that to fight against each other. They fight that to fight the security forces of Mexico. And as a result, we are empowering the people that we're supposed to be fighting. It creates instability in Mexico. But again, empowering these cartels means more drugs coming into the United States. Mm. And as a result of that, we have major problems yeah. right now with fentanyl, which is killing about 70,000 people every year here in the United States. And their fentanyl is being manufactured yeah. in Mexico. You take a look at Haiti, you know, not only are we creating instability in Haiti, because a lot of weapons are going into the hands of drug gangs that are now pretty much controlling port of prince So we create instability. Yeah. We create the flow of drugs coming in to the United States. We create human rights abuses. Right. And we create national security problems in these countries, which affect our national security here in the United States.